Hey everyone, it's Michael. So I mentioned in my very first intro video that um, for some problems I wanted to show more than one solution. And this is already the ninth video and I still haven't delivered on it. So in this very video, I will give you not just one, not two, but three proofs of this theorem. Uh, so this is a very fun a little theorem um, called Archimedes theorem. Um, it is believed to have been known by Archimedes. Um, at least there's some sort of Arabian scholar that said he believed Archimedes knew it, even though it wasn't in, uh, Archimedes had a book of lemmas uh, in geometry and it wasn't in that book, but that Arabian scholar still thinks that Archimedes knew it. I'm not sure how, but apparently that's what he says. Um, and it's also known as the broken chord theorem. So if you want to Google it, it might be better to Google broken chord theorem since Archimedes had a lot of theorems. Um, so um, just a, a little story about Archimedes. Um, obviously, Archimedes loved geometry, and there's a story about how he died, and who knows whether or not this is true. Uh, if it is, it's a pretty sad story, but uh, it's said that uh, there was a war, and a Roman soldier uh, was ordered to retrieve Archimedes from his house. And inside, Archim and Archimedes was working on a few geometry problems inside his house, and he had a few um, different figures drawn in the sand. Um, so when the Roman soldier, a Roman soldier came, broke into his house, and asked Archimedes, "Who are you?" And instead of saying his name, Archimedes said, "Don't disturb my circles." And after he said that, then the Roman soldier killed Archimedes. Um, even though he was supposed to um, take him and retrieve him and bring him back to, I don't know, whoever the Roman emperor, whoever was. Um, and then it, uh, the story is that then the Roman soldier got killed for defying the order um, by killing Archimedes instead of bringing him back. So an interesting little story. Don't know if it's true, but um, in any event, Archimedes really loved geometry. So here's uh, his theorem, and here's three proofs of it. Um, so A, B, and B, C are two chords of a circle, and M is the midpoint of arc A, B, C, and D is the perpendicular from M to A, B, and the problem shows asks to show that A, D is D, B plus B, C. So that's kind of why it's called the broken chord theorem, because A, B, C, you could kind of think of it as one chord that's broken into two, and sort of D is the midpoint of that broken chord. So very interesting theorem, uh, very simple with only a few lines. And so I am going to give you not one, not two, but three different proofs. So buckle your seatbelt and get ready for the ride. All right, so for the first proof, we want to see if, since we're trying to show AD is DB plus BC, we want to show that if, we want to see if we can break AD into two segments, one which is length DB and one which is length BC. So I'm gonna to try to do this by letting B prime be the reflection of B over D. So B prime has to lie on AB because MD is perpendicular to AB. Um, well, I guess it would have to lie on it anyways. But um, so if we know that DB is equal to DB prime, then if we can show B prime A is equal to BC, that would complete the problem. Um, so I'm going to try to do that. Uh, so first note that um, since MD is perpendicular to BB prime um, and BD equals DB prime, we have to have 
MB prime is equal to MB. So I'm going to write that later. Um, and then also M is the midpoint of arc ABC. So MA has to equal MC. So this is what I said before, MB prime is MB. And then we have to have MA is equal to MC. And now, so my goal is to show that MAB prime is congruent to MBC. Uh, there's one more angle. Um, so we see that MAB prime is MAB, which is just MCB. Okay, so basically for triangles MAB prime and MCB, we've shown that two sides and one angle are equal. So um, we have a side side angle. Now, normally a side side angle alone doesn't tell you if the triangle is congruent, but in this case it's true because um, basically if you see MAB prime and MAB both have one side congruent, MA congruent, and this angle congruent. But the, the difference is um, here um, we know that MAB prime has to be uh, the triangle congruent to MBC, not MAB being congruent to MBC. Um, and th this is pretty uh, easy to see um, because uh, MBC is obtuse in this figure and MB prime A is obtuse. So that would have to be the one of the two triangles congruent. So MB prime A is congruent to MBC. And so uh, therefore uh, we can finish off the problem. Uh, AD is equal to AB plus B prime D and AB is BC because these two triangles are congruent and B prime D is DB. So we have the, the equality AD is BC plus DB and that's what we wanted to show. So that's proof number one. All right, now get ready for proof two. Um, so previously we tried to take AD and break it up into um, two segments, one which had length DB and one which had length BC. But now we're going to instead try to combine segments DB and BC um, and see that they add up to segment AD. Um, so first I'm going to start by reflecting A across uh, point D to be point A prime. And I'm going to draw in a couple segments. Alright, so AD is equal to DA prime and MD is perpendicular to AA prime. So from here it's easy to see that MA has to equal MA prime, but M is the midpoint of arc ABC, so MA has to equal MC. So all three of these segments from M are equal, MA prime, MA, and MC. All right, so we're well on our way there. Okay, now my goal here is I want to show that um, a, B prime is equal to B, C. And um, why do I want to do that? So, so first, um, we have that A, D is equal to D, A prime, right? Um, and and D, A prime is D, B plus B, A prime. So we want to show that B, A prime is equal to B, C. But if we had B, A prime equals B, C, um, obviously, these two triangles both share B, side BM, and MA prime equals MC. So that would mean that these two triangles are congruent. So we want to show that these two triangles are congruent. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Um, so we have MA prime B is equal to MAB because 
this is an isosceles triangle, and MAB is equal to MCB, because this is a cyclic quadrilateral. So we've shown um, one of the three pairs of angles in these two triangles are equal. Um, so I kind of just went straight to showing they're congruent. But that's true by side-side angle, because like I mentioned, MA prime is equal to MC. The two triangles both share MB, and they both have this angle equal. MA prime B is equal to MCB. So like I mentioned in my first proof, side-side angle is usually not enough in and of itself uh, to show that two triangles are congruent. But in this case, it's, it's easy to see that that is the case, that um, since both are obtuse triangles, see, see if um, there's two possible triangles meeting the side-side angle configuration, and one is obtuse and one is acute. So since these are both obtuse, uh, they have to be congruent. So now that we know that MA prime B is congruent to MCB, uh, the problem is essentially solved because we have AD is equal to DA prime, which is DB plus BA prime. But since these two triangles are congruent, BA prime is equal to BC. And so therefore we have AD is DB plus BC. And that is proof number two. All right. So now I will show you proof number three. So now we will um, take the parallel through M to AB and we will let it hit the circle at point P. E. All right, so what do we do with this? So my goal here is gonna to be to try to show that triangle AEM is congruent to triangle uh, MBC. Okay, so since M is the midpoint of arc ABC, uh, we know that AM is equal to MC. So we have at least one of the three pairs of sides are congruent. Um, but, okay, so I'm gonna, so since MA is equal to MC, that means that um, MEA and MBC uh, intercept arcs of the same size. So if two angles intercept arcs of the same size, they have to actually be equal. Um, okay, so we have a side and an angle are the same both. But then um, AE also has to equal BM because uh, parallel chords uh, cut off um, equal segments in a circle and EM is parallel to AB. Um, so, actually, I think, so in my playback, I think I actually, um, did this a slightly different way. Um, so, in my playback, um, I showed that, uh, angle EMA is equal to angle CMB, because angle EMA is equal to angle MAB is equal to angle MCB. So we have this angle is equal to this angle. Okay, so EMA is equal to MAB is equal to MCB. Okay, so so these two triangles, um, they have uh, this larger angle equal, um, they have this thinner angle equal, um, EMA is equal to MCB, and they have um, this obtuse angle equal. Um, I think I already said that. But the, and they have AM, MA is equal to MC. So by angle side angle, the two triangles have to be congruent. So triangle AEM is congruent to triangle MBC. Okay, so we need another step here. Um, so what is the correct other step? We want to show that AD is DB plus BC. So the step is to drop a perpendicular from E to AB and let that be F. 
from here the problem kind of collapses um, because we we have a rectangle here by symmetry so so AEMB is an isosceles trapezoid um, so base so BD is equal to AF so if BD is equal to AF then if we want to show that AD is BD plus BC we need to show that DF is BC but df is me because em df is a rectangle. So we would want to show that em is equal to bc, but that's true because these triangles are congruent. So I sort of just explained that in reverse. Um, and like I always say, we solve geometry problems in reverse, but we write the proofs going forward. So now I am going to um, write the proof going forward. So since since triangle AEM is congruent to triangle MBC, as I mentioned, uh, we have EM is equal to BC. And now uh, we essentially have enough to solve it because AD is equal to AF plus FD. But AF is BD by symmetry because AEMB is an isosceles trapezoid. And FD is equal to EM but EM is equal to BC, as I just mentioned. So AD is equal to DB plus BC, and that solves the problem. So I hope you all enjoyed this. Um, it's very cool seeing multiple different approaches to the same problem. And if you go on cutthenot.org and you search broken chord lemma, I think you'll see even more solutions to this problem. Um, so if you like this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you want to see more, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, thanks, everyone. Have a good one.